Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette and this video is a monthly recap of my weight loss journey. So there's, there's that. Before we get into the video, I would ask that you would subscribe so that you are notified anytime I post a video. And if you like any part of this video, please do give me a thumbs up. So yeah, without further, any further ado, let's jump into the video. So January was a month where I lost two pounds. Um, I'm not really disappointed with that. I feel really good about that. Um, something that I haven't done this month was take measurements of my body. I haven't taken measurements since June 29th, which I looked back and that was actually my official start date of me being at 233 pounds. Um, and I started June 29th of 2018 and I am currently 222 pounds and so I feel like I've definitely lost a lot of inches um, all around maybe not like 20 inches or whatever but maybe like one or two which is solid off of my entire body I think that's really good and so yeah I think I'm gonna try to get like a measuring tape and do proper measurements of my body for the month of February so that will all be in next month's video but for this monthly recap of January um, I don't have those measurements all I have is what I weigh which is 222 pounds and if the light is kind of going in and out um, the clouds are kind of covering the sun a little bit and kind of shifting so apologies but I'm using natural light because that is my preferred method of lighting um, so yeah, so January was, I would say, a good month. I was definitely very consistent with working out three times a week. I think the first week I worked out maybe four times, but the rest of the weeks of January was definitely minimum three times a week of working out. My food was good as well. Um, I started ju juicing this year, and so I've been making green juices with, I've whittled it down to being cucumber celery and green apples that is the extent of my green juice when i added the parsley and the cilantro it just and then like lemon and ginger i'm just like no um i am also doing making my own ginger shots um because i used to buy them a lot from whole foods not a lot but like maybe once or twice a month and now i feel like i would like to have them more consistently so i'm making them with fresh pineapple, just juicing fresh pineapple, um, and adding ginger, and then adding um, turmeric powder as well as cayenne pepper um, to those ginger shots. And I've taken, I've done it once, and it was really, really delicious. Granted, it is probably not a shot. It's, it's kind of like eight ounces. So it's like a full-on cup. Um, of it but it's it's really good and I don't mind it it's definitely like cleansing but it's good for your immune system and it's good if you feel like you're yeah like immune system if you're gonna feel like you're getting sick but it's also good for like muscle recovery muscle soreness and stuff like that helps with aches and pains ginger is really good at anti-inflammatory um, from what I looked up did a little bit of research on the benefits of ginger um, so there's that so I think now I will just insert the clips from the month of January so you can see exactly what I got up to um, I talk a little bit about my feelings and all that stuff so I'm gonna insert that now happy new year um, it is what's today's date January 3rd um, it is 601 I'm gonna head back I just finished at the gym um, I today is Thursday January 3rd and so I did abs and I did cardio. So I do about four sets of 15 reps. Um, well, no, 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 I do four different exercises and I do three sets of 15 for each um, exercise. Three, 15 to 20 reps. Um, so I did that for abs and then I did 20 minutes of cardio so I did one minute of walking one minute of running for 20 minutes well more like 18 and then the last two minutes are cooling down and now I'm in the car because I got up at 4 55 didn't get into my car until like 5 5 allowed my car to warm up for 
10 minutes because it is uh, 14 degrees Fahrenheit in Denver, Colorado right now. So yeah, that is my current update. It's uh, a couple minutes later. <laughs> Something that I also forgot to mention was that when I woke up at 4.55, I did not want to go to the gym. I had no motivation, but I knew, oh no. I knew that once I um, would get to the gym, I like after, well, not really once I would get to the gym. It's always really challenging getting yourself to the gym, at least for me, like getting out of bed. Cause like some days are a little bit easier and then some days I'm just like, I don't wanna do it. But because I had put it on my calendar and I've been better about using my calendar, it's when I don't use my calendar um, and write things down to like make sure, like as a list of things that I need to do, then that's when like everything kind of goes out the window. But then when I do write it down, like things I'm, it's like a good motivation for me. So that's kind of what helps me. So I was just like, it's on the calendar and I want to be able to check it off. So I have to do it. <laughs> and that's just because I'm task oriented. <laughs> that's just the type of person I am. But now it's six or seven, I gotta go. It is currently January 6th and it's about 5 p.m. And for dinner, I am having, oh, I just spilled my Haribo gummy bears. My little candy of Haribo gummy bears. And I bought this from King Supers. It is, sorry, I'm cutting up the thing. Uh, just ramen, umami tonkatsu flavor, it's a pork flavor. And that is what I'm having for dinner um, today on January 6th. Yes, I think it's January 6th, it's Sunday. So um, yeah, January is looking so good so far. Yesterday night, I did have Chick-fil-A for dinner and the night before that, on Friday night, I had Chick-fil-A for dinner. So cheat meals are definitely in excess for January, but I'm not stressing about it. I'm not trying to worry about it. I'm not trying to put pressure on myself of, I have to be perfect all the time with my food. This is a journey. I shouldn't have to deprive myself. I'm going to enjoy my Haribo gummy bears that I haven't had in so long and ramen. I haven't had ramen in months and I love ramen, especially instant ramen. So good. So yeah, it's five o'clock in the morning. January 10th, Wednesday, and I'm struggling to get out of bed. I'm so tired. At school yesterday, and I'm just exhausted from working all day and then having a three hour lecture. don't want to go, but I'm going to go because I'm awake and I can't go back to sleep once I'm awake. So it is the same day, January 9th, Wednesday morning, currently 6.15, just finished my workout. Today was arm day and cardio, so that's what I did. And although this morning I didn't want to go, now that I'm done with the workout, I feel great. I feel really good. I also did like a mini... I haven't been stretching after my workouts that much lately and today I like really stretched and I feel so much better. I feel so awake right now. Still gonna get a coffee because I know I'm gonna be tired today since yesterday was such a long day and I didn't get a full eight hours of sleep. I think I got like seven, seven and a half, but I like, I function well off eight hours. So yeah, January 9th killed it did really well in my arm workout I like felt all of my it wasn't just an arm workout it was an upper body workout and I I felt it I really felt it I think my form today was just really really good and I was making sure to engage all of my muscles and stuff like that especially the areas that I was working and engage my core throughout the whole thing so that was good today's January 12th it's a Saturday and I currently weigh 223.5 Six pounds so last week I weighed 224.4 so I definitely lost close to a pound 0.2 off 
it's fine I'm still gonna count it as a pound loss um, yesterday I forgot to record but I ate my normal meal of um, half a plate of greens a quarter plate of fat, quarter plate of protein, but I also mixed, instead of just beans, I did rice as well, so I did a little bit of rice and beans, and then I also, sorry, I had snacks of chips and salsa from Whole Foods, um, and like a little bowl of that, and then I also had a slice of lemon meringue pie from Whole Foods, it's like my favorite dessert, I was craving it, and I was like, your girl's gonna have that, she's gonna treat herself, and she's gonna have that, so... Yeah, that was yesterday night, Friday night, um, which wasn't bad, but yeah, I'm almost a pound down for this week, and so the journey continues. So that last clip that you just saw was me working out today. Today's Thursday. Um, yesterday, Wednesday, I didn't work out mainly because I was tired and I went to sleep too late. So I wasn't going to get at least seven hours of sleep. And I need like seven to eight hours of sleep in order to function properly. And I just didn't get that on Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning. So I was like, I'm just going to sleep in. So today, um, Thursdays and Mondays, I typically just do like cardio, like 20 minutes of cardio, but I first do like my ab routine and then I do cardio and then I'm done. Um, and today I was just like, I'll just do arms and abs and like my full circuit of abs. Cause I do abs every single day, but I do like a partial circuit. Um, but today like Thursdays I normally do a full circuit so I did my full circuit of arms full circuit of abs and then I did cardio and now it is 6 14 and I need to go home <laughs> and take a shower and get ready to go to work um, yeah so that was me a little bit in the gym I wasn't gonna show too much because I was alone for a part of it and then like the back area started filling up a little bit more and I just didn't want other people in the frame because, yeah. That's all I got. It's Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. Good morning. I don't know if you can hear me. But it is Saturday, January 29th. No, January 19th. Um, I weighed myself. I still weigh the exact same that I did last Saturday. I think it has to do with the amount of sweets that I had at work, because there's a lady at work um, who I love, but she's candy at her desk, and I definitely went too many times to get candy. I also had a lot of chips and salsa, like several bags. <laughs> um, and then I had dessert last night, like my meals have been heavy, it's just like the snacking, the amount of snacking in between hasn't been good. Where it was good when I would not snack in between. Cause I just, even if I'm full, I just keep eating if there's food in front of me. So I still feel good though about this week. I still feel good about my progress because in the gym, I like felt stronger with my core. I was able to last longer with some exercises and do a little bit more and go the extra mile. So I felt good about that. So although I didn't lose any weight, I definitely maintained. I feel stronger, um, which I think is definitely important. I'm not gonna lie, I am disappointed, but also it makes sense because of the choices that I made this week. So I don't think it's a matter of being stricter. I mean it's that too but also just understanding that like my weight loss journey is an up and down for me and always has been I gain a little bit of weight and then I lose weight and then I gain a little and then I lose a little bit more and you know slowly but surely I'm going down and the fact that I maintained I think is a win too um I think that's fine it's okay to kind of indulge a little bit and have more sweets and 
more chips and salsa because I love me some chips and salsa, girl. Um, but yeah. Good morning. It is January 23rd at 6.52 in the morning. I just got back from the gym and showered and made my breakfast smoothie. Today was cardio and apps. On Monday I worked out because I had the day off on MLK Day as you saw. And I did arms and a little bit of abs and cardio. My like forearms, at least like it's like hard to show you but it's right here is so sore so i definitely need a foam roll tonight but yeah feeling good feeling really really good um not feeling as bloated and i love the fact that i'm eating fish again it actually makes me happy and i enjoy my food even more now um baking that quinoa in chicken broth is a game changer. Making like quinoa or rice in like broth instead of just regular water is a game changer because you don't even need to add salt. Like it just so flavorful and it's so good. So yeah, I'm glad that I'm introducing those carbs back in and no longer having oatmeal in the morning is kind of nice because I just, I prefer having like a lighter breakfast than having a heavier breakfast. It makes me, I can get pretty nauseous in the morning noticed and so when I have a lighter breakfast I don't feel as nause nauseous so yeah that's my update so it is January 24th around 8 40 at night um, this morning I didn't go to the gym because I had a lot of anxiety and just I had like a really weird dream and I read too much into my dream and yeah, I was just like, I don't, I don't think I want, yeah, I don't want to go to the gym. I just wanted to sleep some more, so that's what I did. And then I also had my book club tonight, and we, it was like wine and charcuterie board style. So I had a cab, red wine, cabernet, Bouillon. probably, just I'm just going to say a cab because I don't really remember how to say that last word um i had like a glass of wine like half a glass of wine and then i had goat cheese infused with blueberries and goat cheese infused with honey and then i had brie goat cheese not sure if i'm a fan of brie but it could grow on me so i'll give it more of a chance and then you know different types of meats prosciutto salami um ham <laughs> and crackers and dried fruit and yeah, so didn't go to the gym this morning, but you know, that's fine. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow morning because I'm definitely going to the gym at least three times a week, maximum four, but three times is honestly fine. So I'm just going to combine my entire ab circuit along with my entire leg circuit and then just do 20 minutes of cardio. Um, so yeah, see ya when I see ya. So it is Saturday and I am in my typical uniform of an all <laughs> black outfit <laughs> with my favorite Sacconi shoes. Well, my only Sacconi sneakers. I'm currently weighing 
10.8, so back to being officially 10 pounds, 10.4 um, pounds, if we're gonna be like that, of 10.4 pounds total loss from when I started back in mid-July. Um, so yeah, went down a couple pounds this week, so that's nice. Um, <laughs> Cause I think at one point I was like 225. I like gained a little bit more weight, got up to 225, and then I went back down to 222.8. So feeling really good, feeling nice that I'm, you know, getting closer to being back to 219. Um, very excited. Last night, definitely. I would say this entire week I have had goat cheese um, infused with something like honey, cranberries or blueberries or something like that. Um, and then chips, like multi-grain, they're like healthy, healthy chips. Um, and then I also had like a wine and charcuterie night for my book club. So I had some like prosciutto, salmon, no, not salmon, uh, salami and different types of meats and stuff like that along with goat cheese. I had brie for the, for the first time, I had goat cheese brie. Not really a fan of it, not really a fan of Brie. Um, but my friend Danny was a huge fan of it, so I'm glad that she enjoyed it and liked it. Um, I just don't know if Brie is for me. But it could grow on me, it's an acquired taste. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, if you are like wondering, she's really dressed up, she has long hair. Um, your girl filmed a sit down video, get ready with me and body confidence talk video so that will be up before this one is up um it is currently it's saturday june 25th i think i'm in summer january 25th or 26th I don't, yeah it's saturday january 20 something um so yeah, that is my update so far, 222.8. That's officially 10.4 pounds lost from when I started, which honestly is not that bad. I know for some people they're like, you know, in half a year you could have lost 50 pounds. Well, your girl did it, but she's lost inches and she's feeling good about herself. And this third person talk is ridiculous. So I'll see you in the next update. <laughs> So I just got finished with the gym. It is Tuesday, January 29th, 6-11. It is nine degrees outside. I'm in single digits going to the gym. That is mental, that's so crazy to me. But I got it in, I went to the gym yesterday as well. Um, so getting it in this week. 31st, the last day of the month is on Thursday, so. Man, so much happens in 31 days. So much happens in a month. It's crazy. So I'm just getting home from work and I, today's the 31st of January. I should have gone to the gym uh, this morning, but last night I ended up watching a Netflix show until like 11.30 at night. So I was like, I value sleep, so I'm just gonna go to the gym tomorrow um, morning. I was gonna go this afternoon uh, as soon as I got home from work, but honestly, I'm feeling really sick, feeling very nauseous. I get car sick pretty easy, easily. I definitely got car felt very car sick, and so I'm just like, I'm not gonna try to work out after that because it takes it takes a while for me to feel normal again. So. It's an update for me. I still think I weigh the same amount. Um, pretty sure, but also started my period this past week. So, you know, being a female, you gain weight when you're on your period. But yeah, that's the tea. That is the tea. Yeah, that was the month of January. Um, I think something that I discovered in the past couple days, because it is currently february 3rd 2:15. um it's the day of the super bowl actually i'm going to a super bowl party in like an hour and 30 minutes but i think i discovered that i'm reaching a plateau um and i kind of just need to be a little bit more strict with my snacking the past couple weeks i've definitely would eat an entire log of goat cheese that had infused uh, cinnamon and cranberries um, on it with chips 
and have like that entire, it's like a big bag of chips that you can get from Costco. And the chips are healthy, but when you eat like that much of it, obviously, <laughs> um, it's, you know, things are good in moderation, but in excess, it's not that good. And so I, I was snacking a lot and eating a lot of it in one sitting. And I just really need to cut out snacking for myself um, because it's not even like when I snack, it's not me being hungry at all. It's just more of a habit of I want to eat something, which is not good. <laughs> and I definitely want to kick that habit. So that's the reason why I particularly am trying to cut out snacking because I don't need it to function. It doesn't really help me. Um, the amount of food that I'm getting in my main meals are very substantial. I'm, I'm eating a good amount of food. I'm not depriving myself. I mean, I am eating in a caloric deficit, but with the snacking, it doesn't really put me that much with the caloric deficit. And I also feel like I'm reaching a plateau with my workouts as well. I feel like my body has gotten used to what I've been doing for the past couple months of just kind of doing like six exercises for upper body and six exercises for lower body and then 20 minutes of cardio. So I'm thinking of going back to like my HIIT um, circuit training is gonna be something that pushes me because I do get really tired doing those and it definitely pushes me out of my comfort zone. Um, and the program that I follow is by Massey. I will put her link down below, um, hopefully maybe on the screen, but for sure it will be down below. Um, and it's something that I purchased like back in 2016 and I've used it several times, but I think I just need to be, and she has like a whole, um, like food regimen, like everything pretty much planned out for you and what to do on your rest days and how to stretch. And she explains all of that and demos and stuff like that. And, um, I purchased that back in 2016 when I was like, Oh, I'm going to lose weight. And then I, I did it for a couple months and then I stopped and then I'm just like, I wasted that money, but I did it because it's still really good. Um, and it's a like it's a killer workout and there's different workouts every single day that she gives you for the entire month and so cuz it's like for 4 weeks and obviously you can repeat it and so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go back to doing that cuz I remember I had lost weight doing that program but then I was like oh, I kind of want to switch things up and do my own thing and um I I definitely liked the, those exercises cuz I felt like I got used to them and I think it's because I had reached the plateau back then as well. And so, yeah, I think I've reached the plateau with my body um, in terms of like fitness and going to the gym and like working out. So I'm gonna try to do those again and document my pro progress there. Um, and then with food, I'm just going to continue eating the same thing, but really be, make more of an effort to really cut out snacking um, and not eating past like my dinner time because I, I honestly do not need to be snacking. Um, and making sure that my cheat meal is just one meal a week. And I know for some people they might be like, oh, you're depriving yourself and all these other things, but I don't have self-control to have more than one cheat meal because I just will overeat. That's just, an, I understand that about myself really well. And so, yeah, that is the course of action for the month of February. Um, I'm not disappointed that I lost two pounds. Granted, I do feel great. I do feel a lot stronger, um, you know, with my ab exercises, with my arms, my back especially. I was doing some um, pretty good back exercises um, and like these, but really engaging my like between my shoulder blades right there. Um, those muscles and so that was really really good but yeah i'm excited to see like the circuit training and kind of document the process there i'm also going to film a meal prep video soon and so that will be documented as well and i will post that on youtube soon but um yeah that is my january recap and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for getting to the end of the video um I hope you liked this format. Please let me know your thoughts on this format, if you like it or if you don't like it in the comments down below. I would love to hear your feedback. Um, but yeah, don't forget to stay laughing. No, stay kind, stay laughing, and stay true. And I hope your February is a good month. Bye. Did it.